Hello and welcome to Lightwave 2019. I'm going to be giving a little bit of a demo on the new material component system, um, which is part of the node editor. Um, now, before I start, I'm going to do a quick overview of the lighting setup I've done here. It's a simple daylight scene at the moment. All I have is two lights. Technically, one of them isn't doing anything. That's just that's the sun direction which is, is just the, where it's pointing, and the environment light, which is lighting everything. Um, I have in my backdrop the new SunSky plugin, which is now native. Um, the only adjustment I've made to that, other than picking the item, which is the sun direction, which just allows me a measure of control. Um, you can use the pick location, but it's up to you. Um, is a max luminance uh, variation. Now, just to show you, if I was to add this uh, as it is, which is comes in by as one, yeah, that's exactly what you would get. Um, it's too bright now. Of course, there's actually nothing wrong with this technically. What this is, it's, it's Lightwave doesn't have an inbuilt exposure or tone mapping f feature. And this is essentially what this does. It just allows you to increase the white point. I find about 1.8 for a medium white gray object. Obviously your scene may vary as I increase it. Uh, the darker the sun becomes, you know, two looks quite nice, but I think the 1.8 looks just spot on uh, for this particular scene. Um, as per usual, if you've watched my um, environment light uh, video, make sure that all of your surfaces have glossy reflections if you want to have all the PBR goodness. Ray trace only in both the reflection and refraction. Um, and I will show you one final thing. This is actually a new feature, or rather a fix of a bug. I'll just show you this. So if I make the test surface a hundred percent transparent and that's as you would expect now I'll rotate the viewport here so it shows the background background here um, what we have is um, what looks like an error and what it is is that the light in the environment needs to have camera visible selected. Technically what this does is it makes this light visible to camera rays as opposed to just simply being in the background because of course the background is automatically visible because of the way the backdrop system works. This just makes it also available for camera rays and now they all look correct. So that just gives you a quick uh, idea. I will now uh, reset this back to standard by just making the transparency of those surfaces not and we shall begin.